this code sample includes a div element with the class container that has the following childs, a div element uh, with the class error unit, and then a div element with uh, the class row, and then we have a simple ruler and a footer element. Well, the footer element in this case is, irresp is responsible for showing this um, uh, line. Let's go over the code. So we have the div element with the class error unit. This uh, uh, div element is responsible for the main marketing message part of the web page. As you can see, we have a title, a low bootstrap, and then small text, and then a button. Then we have a div element with the class row, and it has three childs. Um, each one of them is a div element with the class span4. Now, if we take a look at the result, then we have a row, and the row is splitted into uh, three uh, parts equal in their size, in their width. Well, because we have span for each one of the, of the three, it means that the three uh, will be with the same size, with the same width. Now let's get a bit um, into detail. Well, when you use the Twitter bootstrap framework, you can imagine that we have uh, imaginary 12 rectangles. So if I have three uh, div elements that each one of them is responsible for a segment and I specify the class attribute with the value span for in each one of them, I will get a row split into three parts equal in their uh, width and when you see span 4 just imagine that uh, this uh, div element will be spanned over four imaginary rectangles and since we have in total 12 imaginary rectangles in each and every row uh, this is the outcome. Now let's make a small change. Let's change this class into span 6 and those two into span 3. Now, let's see the outcome. As you can see, the first uh, takes half of the width, kind of six imaginary rectangles, and the other two, each one of them, um, kind of span over three imaginary rectangles each one of them. So the, these two are the same width and the width of this one is twice the width of each one of these ones. Now let's uh, take the code, let's take the whole div element responsible for the row and let's uh, copy paste. So we have two rows and now the second row, just to make sure that we don't um, make things too complex and get lost. Uh, I, will, I will add here the number 2 to each one of the titles. So if I take a look, uh, this is what I get. Now let's play with the values of the class attributes in, the, in each one of the three segments of the second row. Let's change it into, uh, let's say, uh, span 3 this one let's change into span 6 and the last one into span 3 let's keep it the way it is so in total uh, 3 plus 6 plus 3 gives 12 so now we can expect uh, the second row to include uh, the one segment in the middle to be uh, twice in terms of uh, width comparing with the one on the left and the one on the right